This is Elmstone, one of my most successful nest boxes. It's hosted a range of species over the years, since I put it up in a sycamore tree over a decade ago. Elm trees were once widespread across the British landscape, but Dutch elm disease killed 60 million of them. I took this old stump from a dead elm tree that would have died over 40 years ago. And it's great after this tree's death, this nest box continues to support life. In its very first year, I had tawny owls nesting here. And I couldn't resist painting one of those chicks just before it fledged. Since then, a lot of other animals have been spotted at this nest. Like this cheeky stoat looking for an easy meal. And this male kestrel looking for a nest site with its partner. Over the years, many barn owls have chosen elm stump to be their nest. They have raised their young here, getting them ready for life outside the safety of this nest box. But it's not just owls that are here. Their presence sparks a remarkable miniature ecosystem, which starts with something called pellets. Pellets are the owl's way of getting rid of prey remains that they can't digest. Over time, these attract flies. And clothes moths, which lay their eggs inside the pellets. The spiders then follow to eat the flies. And smaller birds like this tree creeper and this little wren come to eat the spiders and the clothes moth larvae. It's amazing to think my elm stump found 10 years ago, probably decades after it actually died. It's still giving so much life and I'm sure it will do for many more years to come. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.